All right, hey, hey everybody, RV enthusiast here. Nice seeing you again, or if you're here for the first time, nice to meet you. All right, today we're gonna go over um, how to install the Magicycle skid plate on the Magicycle Cruiser. All right guys, so what I have displayed here is the Magicycle skid plate. It is uh, smaller than I anticipated. For some reason, my brain was thinking it was at least one and a half times wider and uh, bigger. Uh, it's not that big. So uh, for some reason, because the bike is so beefy, I just thought, man, it's gonna have a gigantic skid plate, really cool. But uh, this I think will do it. We'll look when we're done, but I think it'll cover what it needs to cover. Also, the uh, Magicycle here label is very nice. Uh, well printed on. So we have skid plate, we have five zip ties, we have two screws, two spacers, and two washers. So let's go put this on. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to drop the pack stand, I'm going to pull the pack brake, and I'm just going to pick it up like this, just holding the back brake so it doesn't do it. Now I'm going to squeeze, the, let, let go of the back brake a little bit, guide it into the hand, and from that point I'm in. I don't have to raise it off the ground because um, it's right here and that's at the level I'm going to need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoot the wheel in a little bit so I can square it up. And that okay guys, you can also see that the controller is a little bit dirty from riding, so I'm going to clean that off before I put the skid plate on. get started on a skid plate. So skid plate's pretty pretty basic, pretty simple. There we go. Yeah, so I do appreciate Magicycle sending me the skid plate. Uh, Dora was the person that has sent it to me, and that's a wonderful thing. Thank you, Dora. Okay, so here's the skid plate. This has two standoffs. They're, uh, they're kind of a hard plastic, and that's going to help stand it off from the, from the crank shaft. All right, we got that one started. Now we got to start the other one. So we don't want to start it unless we're, we, we want to be very loose. It shouldn't be hard to tighten until it gets to a certain point. There we go. Okay, we're in. So now we're going to go until it tightens. There we go. I don't have to be crazy tight. That's good. And we'll do the same here. Uh, we'll flip this around. Nice. Just going to feel down here and make sure I'm not crimping anything and that it is absolutely where it needs to go. And we're golden there. That's on, guys. Very easy install. 
two screws, two spacers, two washers, and now all we gotta do is tie this back down here. I don't want to put the head down here of this tie strap because I do not want it to be, uh, I don't want it to be part of the tie up system. So that's how I want to do mine. You don't have to do it that way. You can do it any way you want. I just don't want the head of the tie strap to be down here. I want it to be on the side. Like so. Then we just come up here reach to the tie, draw down to the head. Now this one may be a little harder for me to do, and I may not, <laughs> I may not take all your time up watching me do it. We may just cut through this here. If you plan on doing it the way I'm doing it, I would put the outer one on last. I'd put this one on last, because now it's tight and it limits my ability to reach in here and thread the needle kind of you know what I mean I got to get this strap into the head not easy guys but I got it you can hear it yeah I like that and I'll show you why I did it the way I did it. As soon as I finish up, I'll tighten a little more. Put my nippers on the tie, slide it up to the head, and nip it down. Now, so that's complete. That's the Magicycle logo right there, coming down. Second one. It looks bigger on the bike than it does in real life, guys. It's, it's, uh, it's not gigantic but it covers this, which are these wires. It covers the controller, and that'll eliminate any possibility of rock or twigs going up in there or little, little branches getting up in there from the ground when your front tire runs over it and pops it up there. It won't uh, jab up in there and then, then pull a wire loose. So very nicely done. I don't know if you guys can get a Good look in there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so it protects it pretty well. And that's why I did it the way I did it. You can see how nice that looks underneath rather than having the little heads out. It's worth the extra five minutes of work, three minutes of work trying to figure it out to get it in there. So basically what I did is I tucked my heads around, my strap heads to the side like that. And make sure you cut those off even with the head so you don't have any, any sharp strap coming out and hitting you in the ankle and causing a rub mark. I have it down just in time for my dog to come out and see what I'm doing. So if I made a mistake, he would get hit, but I'm not going to make a mistake with it. So. All right, guys, that was an easy install on the skid plate on the Magicycle. Join me next time uh, as we probably go out for a ride on that Magicycle. Weather should start changing next week. Cross your fingers. See you on the next episode. Bye.